welcome back guys uh, today we are going to solve a numerical which has been asked in uh, university examination and that is based on uh, net net id and host id so how to calculate the net id or how to calculate the what number of octets are related with the net id uh, and what number of octets related with the host id on the basis of given ip address so that is what the question so let's start this uh, find in the net id and host id of the following ip address guys uh, this question has been asked in summer 19 for 3 marks so here there are three marks over and short three marks where uh, you can say there are three ip addresses are given the first ip address is what 114.34.2.8 and second will be second is uh, 132.56.8.6 and third is 208.34.54.12 so these are the three addresses are given so in order to calculate the net id and host id guys so here we need to consider the definition of the host id and net id so here the net id represent what the how many number of bytes are related with the that particular uh, networks in that specific class which is what the net id and the host id is what how many number of hosts are available in that particular network which is related with the host id and if you go with this particular ip version 4 now this question is related with ip version 4 guys So here, in order to calculate this particular terminologies, so net ID represent to the network and host ID represent to the host. So in order to calculate these two terms, guys, we have to consider two things. We have to consider the number of classes range available with us because we have IP version four classes: class A, class B, class C, class D, and class E. Okay, and here the range is given in this particular table. Okay, and second consideration is what respective classes. Let's say class A, B, C, D, E. how many numbers of that uh, host id and net id belongs to what portion is belongs to that standard chart to be standard chart to be considered okay and if you consider this particular things so if you go with the class a guys so first byte of that particular ip version 4 is what represent the net id and remaining three are what host id so whatever the networks are going to be uh, created over here in class a will be on the basis of this particular first octet if you go with the class b first two octet belongs to the class uh, net id and last two is what host id class c the first three octet is class uh, network ids and then last will be host id and these two addresses are what multicast addresses and the research purpose and military purpose is used where class d and class e we are not using for our purpose they are reserved for some specific task so this is what the prerequisite to that particular problem so let's take one by one how to calculate this particular so let's the first one and first is what 114.34.2.8 this question is available with us so in order to calculate the net id and host id what we have to consider we have to go to the test step number 1 now here step number 1 says in order to find the net id and host id we need to find the class of ip address given so whatever the ip address is available with us we have to find out the class that class of that particular ip address and which uh, which particular class it is going to be belong okay then in order to find the class of now how to find the class in order to find the class of ip address we need to check the range of the first octet so we need to change check this range of the first octet guys of every uh, what we can say the ip address is first octet or byte of given addresses so by looking this particular address hence by looking into the first octet value of the address that is 114 that is 114 and it is in between the 0 to 127 so if you go with this 114 value so it this range between this 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 is in between the 0 to 127 so it means what this belongs to the class a it means what this belongs to the class a and we found we found that this ip address is given to the class a or belongs to the class a and the class a has a first octet net id if you go with the this particular net and host id portion so class a is having the first octet or first byte is network id and remaining three are what the host host id guys so we got the clue that it belongs to the class a and class a represents as per the class a is concerned very first octet is what network id and the remaining three id and uh, net remaining three octets are what host id so here if you uh, belongs to the host id that is network id is available over here 8 minus 1 this 8 minus 1 is what this size of the one byte is what 8 and this minus 1 is what the first six bit so because in order to represent that particular uh, 
a class A, we have let let suppose that we have let's say this network, and if we divide this network into these two terminologies, so one will be of 128, 128 bit. So here, if we go with the binary bit position, the first bit is fixed for the class A. First bit is fixed with the class A, and that first bit was being a bit is minus from this eight minus one. So you got the we got the seven as a binary bits. Okay, so two to the power seven. Two to the power seven will be one twenty different networks will be possible over here. And in order to calculate the host ID, remaining twenty four. These are twenty four. Eight into three twenty four is available. So two to the power twenty four that is approximately sixteen million values available. Okay, so these number of hosts will be possible with the available of one twenty networks. One twenty networks. So so this is what the size of this particular networks and the hosts available with us. Okay, and this bit is what fixed. In order to identify the IP address of the class A, this first bit is fixed in that particular case. Now, hence we can say here net ID will be one one four dot zero dot zero dot zero. This will be what the and this part first octet belongs to what net ID and remaining three ID here we can say zero dot thirty four dot two dot eight. Here from zero to one twenty eight, the value can be put up over here. Okay, and these many number of host IDs are available out of 128 different networks that can be possible created and each in each network approximately 16 million ip address uh, host can be connected so this is what the solution of the first particular of our numerical go to the second one and follow the standard process guys now the here 132 132.56.8.6 ip is given so in order to find the net id and host id what we have to do we have to find the class of the and the given address then in order in order to find out the class of the ip address we need to work to check the range of this first octet okay first octet range to be checked so by looking to this what we have the value is what 132 okay and if you go with the range wise guys so one this 132 is belong uh, in between is what 128 to 191 and if you see this particular so here this belongs to the class b this belongs to the class b and if this belongs to the class b now we have to check what 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 is available the scenario is with the class b guys so here class b first two octet belongs to the net id so these number of networks can be possible and last two octet belongs to the host id okay so if you go to calculate the number of addresses and the host and uh, networks available so net id will be 16 minus 2 because 1 and 0 these two bits are fixed in this particular class b so 16 minus 2 14 different number of networks can be possible so 2 to the power n that is 2 to the power 14 is equal to what one six three eight four. This number of networks can be possible, and in each network, the two to the power sixteen, which is what to these two bytes, that is sixty five thousand five hundred and thirty six number of hosts can be possible. If you multiply this into um, this into this, we get the total address space. Okay, and hence the net ID will be one thirty two dot fifty six dot zero dot zero, and host ID will be zero dot zero dot eight dot six. Here, here, here can be value ranging from this particular network. Okay, so this is what the solution of second one. And if you go with the third value, guys, and third uh, available address uh, that given address is what two zero eight dot thirty four dot fifty four dot twelve. So this is IP address given. So what we have to do? We have to check the class of the IP address. Okay, and in order to check the class IP IP address, what we have to do? We have to Check the range. We have to check the range of the first octet. So here, by looking the first octet value given in IP address, so what what it is? It is what two zero eight. Now two zero eight is belongs in or in range in between the one ninety two dot two two three. Okay, so it belongs to the class C. If you go with the chart, so it belongs to the class C. Okay, and class C. What what is the scenario of class C? As far as the class C is concerned, first three octets are belongs to the network ID, and last is what the host ID. Okay, so so calculate the number of addresses and number of uh, networks available. So we have to, we have one uh, fixed fixed bits available in a class C. What we have one one zero the class class C that is this one one zero are the fixed three bits are fixed. So we have to minus this three bits from that particular twenty uh, four. So twenty four minus three. What what we get? Would we get the twenty uh, one? So to the power twenty one is what two million approximately number of networks will be possible. And what is the host ID? In each this particular network, so two to the power eight, that is what two fifty six number of addresses can be possible. So if you go, if you calculate these these two terminologies, what we can say, net ID will be two point 
208.34.54.0. This belongs to the net ID. Okay, and the host ID is what? Last as far as the class C is concerned, only last after it is belongs to the class host. So whatever the variation from let's say 0 to 255. so this 256 uh, host can be possible in each of the available what we can say the subnet which we have created that is what in a class c so first belongs to the network id and second belongs to what the host id so this in this way we can calculate so here only what we have to do we have to only check that particular class so here first opt it to be checked and what value of that class and if you got that value here there is what the 208 we can blindly say that this belongs to the class c and class c as per the class c is concerned first three octet are net id and last octet is what the host id okay so here this is a bold color is indicating that what whatever the variation is going to be available so here a variation can be available and how many numbers of host can be calculated on the uh, so here so on the basis of that last octet the host can be calculated and host can be what the 256 so this is what the class c is concerned if you go at the previous example so here 132.56 what are the variations available over here from 01 to 256 number of okay then what are the variations available over here also the first two octets belongs to the uh, what we say net id and last two octet is what the host id and if you go to the first slide first octet only belongs to the network id and last three octets are going to be belongs to what the host id so variations are possible for the host over here and variation possible for over here only first octet so this is what the Uh, the question has been asked in our university for three marks guys i hope this question is okay with you thank you thank you